Hello, welcome to another quality fishing video. On this channel we film goals orientated fishing around Tasmania. Today we are doing a few different things. First of all I've got a camera and a camera assistant um, and they're pumping water from the creek we're fishing which is awesome. Should we keep rolling? Yeah. Okay, so in this video we're in the peace and quiet of the countryside and we are doing some dry fly and nymph fishing in tiny creeks hoping to get an early season brown. Um, it's only mid-September, uh, usually I don't really fish in these sort of creeks um, until really hot days. We've had some cold weather but we've got a 21 degree day today and it was warm enough yesterday, a fish are on the feed. We've already uh, had some action, which we'll show you now, and we'll get back to the video. Have a great day. Ah, do you think it's electric? Mm -hmm. All right, Fred, touch it. <laughs> oh, you're smart. Ready? Hold on. This is a, what goes through a long run on this creek. Oops. Shit. Drop my glasses. Fuck up. Oh no. There's one. Yeah, oh, I got it. Ah. Got him, got him. First fish of the season. Beautiful little brown. Stay there, buddy. <laughs> that was sick. All right. Yeah, buddy, thank you. First fish of the season, you're very good luck. Here we go. That's the sort of size of fish we're going for, but super tight water, super fun. Got one, there he is, he's a big one. Bring the camera, Lila. Got a good one. How am I gonna get you? I'll go in. Oh yeah. Better size of fish this time. Oh, get off there, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> Stay there. Stay there, mate. There we go, that was awesome. There's another little brownie. Um, this one's a little bit bigger than the first one. Uh, beautiful colours on these fish. Super big and fat belly. I'm gonna get him in real quick and get another one. Uh, this is a, either a Hail Mary long cast or just keep doing what I'm doing, which is like sort of just plopping in the nymph. I'm really up high, so I'm just gonna chill. See if I can see any fish here. It's kind of getting milkier this creek as we go up. Hard to. Yeah. I don't think it's worth a long cast because I can't see anything over those weeds there. So I'm going to creep up on them and just pl keep plopping, plopping away, plopping the nymph in. She's all right. Okay, so let's get this in through there. There we go, took it straight away. Sick. 
That was awesome. Oh, he got off and he took my last fly. Shouldn't have leaded him, tippeted him. Oh, that's a lovely looking bend here. So let's fish that. The good thing about bend, you can follow the rod all the way around it. Hopefully we'll get a nice natural presentation of a way like this under that bank. Oh, yes. Just as I was about to pull it in, it got taken on the swing. <laughs> That's awesome. Right. Get out of there. I'm going to have to pull you in. Oh, two pound tip here. I've got to lift the fish out. Oh, the same will happen as before. Tiny little brown. That's a good one. So uh, that's the end of the video. What a beautiful September day in Tassie. It's actually probably reached uh, 20, 22 degrees, I'd say, which is amazing for this time of year. Uh, not much um, action early on except losing flies, losing my glasses, um, losing it, and then um, things got better. I was getting frustrated trying to get a dry fly in because they hang up in everything and they sort of float a bit unless you've got a little bit of line out which you can't in this creek, it was a metre wide so I switched to a nymph and just like plopping in all the way down just following it along no much, not much fly line out of the rod tip like that I guess it's kind of similar to Euro nymphing style um, except you're not looking at any kind of indicator you're just watching the nymph or maybe a tick in the line we got a few, um, you'll see all that anyway in the video um, the gear was fine for the job. Like I said earlier, you could use a nine foot six weight and fish dries and just and then like quite heavy tip it and just reef them out. Um, but with a small creek rod like this is seven foot uh, two weight, two to three weight. Um, I don't know. Yeah, three weight maybe. Anyways, tiny little noodle. Um, so best thing, tungsten bead. Just drop them in. in. Um, and yeah, that worked really well. Got five fish, maybe, probably a couple that came off on the on the bank. And um, yeah, so not a super hot action, but enough to, for like the first time I've been trout fishing for the season. I'm stoked. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.